welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy my readings. And if you want to click, if you want to click, you can click. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below. Uh, yeah, let's try to have a much better reading than yesterday was rough. So yeah, uh, don't forget if you want to join my OnlyFans, you can subscribe and get some more juicier readings using um, cards that I cannot use here on my channel. Okay, so let's get into this. And thank you to everyone who's been buying me coffee. Super, super grateful. All right, so you're starting with the palm tree. You have girl with a snake and Cupid's arrows. Okay, wow. Well, that looks a little better. Okay, let's take a look here. If I can pick it up. Come on, come on. Okay, so you've got palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. This is good. This is an energy of like, I feel like this is you, Virgo. You're like kind of flexible. You planted some roots. You're stable, looking good, secure. You've had some growth. You're uh, maybe you just got a perm. <laughs> Are you thinking about getting a perm? You're, you, you seem to be showing up towards other people as having growth, being more flexible, um, stable, enduring, able to endure. I feel like people are looking at you like, wow, pretty impressed with you, um, or at least being impressed with you this month. You've also got a girl with a snake. Um, there's somebody around you who is kind of sketch. Um, looks like another female or a female. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm getting some kind of energy with her. Uh, she's kind of, I don't know. I just feel like she's kind of sketchy. So I feel like you need to kind of keep yourself, just be aware of her. Um, I don't know if she's like sneaky or something. I'm picking up maybe some jealousy or she's just... She's on the outskirts. That's what they just said. So she might be on the outskirts of town. Or she might be on the outskirts of Philly. Might be where she spends most of her days. So she's kind of like... I don't know. She's hovering maybe a little bit. I don't know. She's not trusting something. She's sneaking around a little bit. So keep your eyes and ears. It could be a, could be a, a masculine... It feels like it's a feminine energy, but it could be a masculine as well. Or it could be a feminine who has masculine tendencies or masculine with feminine tendencies. You also have Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meaning hesitation. Okay, love's on its way. I can tell you that. Hmm. There might be something here to do with another person. We might be thinking that you are interested in their person. Right? Uh, yeah. I'm feeling like a three-party kind of thing, but that's a small percentage. Um, I feel like somebody might be spying, or they think that you that their per that their significant other is interested in you. I, you know what? That's very specific. So I don't know. Keep that in the back of your head here, in the back of your mind. Like put it on the back burner. Um, but yeah, you do have love is coming. Somebody's got a thing for you. They're getting the um, Cupid's arrow in the butt here. Somebody's falling for you in October. Okay, let's take a look and see what else is going on here. What else is going on here for Virgo? Oh, geez, you're kidding. Yeah, somebody's getting caught doing something. Oh my gosh. Big time. Somebody is getting caught. <clears throat> Can I close that down? Okay, yeah. Somebody's getting caught being sneaky. I feel like it's this girl with the snake. <clears throat> She's going to get found out. Um, hmm. And she may come in and say she's sorry. Or she apologizes after being caught. Which is not really... It may not really be sincere. Yeah, it's not a confession. It, this is someone that gets caught doing being sneaky or doing something. Um... Or it's like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do something. She may not be confessing it to you. It could be to another person, he or she. But um, you're going to find out about it. You're definitely going to find out about it, okay? And as far as, like, Cupid's Arrows goes, I will say that um, 
You're also going to find out that somebody has a crush or a thing for you. Yeah, okay. That is kind of like you're, you're, you're going to find out about it. They're going to get caught peeping. Somebody's peeping. They're peeping at you. And you're going to be like, oh, oh, they get caught. I don't know how they get caught, but they get they get caught. You see them and you find out about it. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. Wow, page of cups in the reverse. Oh, you guys. There's some kind of breakup that's happening. I okay, this is where they're this is where they're taking me. There's there's a couple who um Okay, bear with me. This is what they're giving me. There is a couple, there's, a, there's another couple who, one half of that couple has a thing for you, or they still have a thing for you, but one half of this couple has a thing for you. One party has a thing for you, absolutely. And their, their other half, they're suspicious of them. And there's, some kind of breakup because of that. They get caught. I think like this other couple gets into some kind of argument or a breakup of some sort because there's some kind of communication between you and, and, the, and that person. Okay? So it's like you and then this person who's got a thing for you and then their person finds out about it or suspects that there's something going on. And in the month of October, it looks like they get in an argument or they have some kind of a breakup. Yeah. Now, I don't know if this is like some kind of immature energy or you're getting accused or this, they're, they're you know, the person that likes you or is interested in you or love begins to flare up. Um, feelings are getting exposed or something's going on and there's like you know insecurities coming out or something like that some so the, whoever this person is that's interested in you it, it kind of comes out that either they're in love with you or they have feelings for you something along these lines now i don't know if this is someone that you dealt with before or someone new that you meet because well the page of cups can represent new love but it is in the reverse so this could be a restart of new love with someone from before that you had um, a connection with. Now, for some of you, it could be a water sign, and for others, it could be an air sign. Okay, let me see what else is going on. It's funny how these messages, my goodness, everything's turning out in reverse. You know what? I gotta keep it real with you, Virgo. I feel like this, whoever's got a thing for you, this is someone from before. They're hopeful about you. There's some hope coming through. This person is like hoping you guys either can get back together. There's a renewed sense of love. And it might have something to do with you looking very uh, stable and having some type of growth. I feel like either they're comparing you to the person they're with there's something here about um, they don't want to be with that their their significant other, or they're just not as interested in them because there's something about you. There's something about Mary. <laughs> there's something about you. There, uh, there's a grief stage that's ended, and there's a connecting. There's hope again. Th this person is seeing you too as like a couple. You know, when this this person here, turn, like in the upright, they're too focused on the loss. And if they were to turn around, they would see those two cups, which would represent uh, new love, a partnership, soulmate energy. So in the reverse, that is turning around and seeing that, that love again. So yeah, I kind of feel like that's something going on here. So what is the scenario? I mean, were you with someone in the past? And you guys went your separate ways, however many years ago or months ago, and the person you were with got into a new relationship, or you went with somebody else, or whatever might have happened, or maybe you just stayed single and, or, and didn't go with anybody else, but something where whoever you were with before, I, I, they're somehow, <clears throat> excuse me, somehow they're seeing you 
or they're feeling your energy that something is different something has changed they're falling in love with you and, and i feel like it's all over again okay wow they got deep deep feelings going on here that's pisces energy pisces and libra are playing out here Um, it could have something to do here with a legal marriage or a divorce. Uh, things being hidden. Emotions and feelings being hidden and light beginning to be shed on this very slowly. Wow. Coming out definitely in October. And this energy started with that super moon. Look at how yellow. That's like that harvest moon, that gold that full moon energy yeah there's definitely a new beginning here some change and growth there's something sprouting whoa if you guys didn't listen to the super moon the reading i did on thursday last thursday i was talking about how that full moon super moon in aries was the spark something um, setting fire to the rain right something got lit something got lit in, in someone's heart and it's setting off this entire like flame hearts on fire the cat that moon was a catalyst for passion and, and new beginnings i feel like this is what's happening um with another person who is like kind of looking at you with these rose-colored glasses and i like i don't feel it's connected to yesterday's reading i don't feel like that's the same person um, this feels more like an energy of, um, they have another person here and they are, I don't know, just looking at you. I mean, it could be, but we're not going to like dive into the sequel because I'm, I, I'm not really, really feeling too much of a connection between these two. Okay. Wow. Two of wands in the reverse. I don't see this person making any plans to do or see this through in October, but I can tell you that they are looking at you differently in October, for sure. They're seeing something different about you. And I feel like they might even, yeah, look at that. I was just going to say, I feel like they are looking at their situation that they're in now and the person that they're with they feel like it's really damp and cold i'm seeing a breakup with whoever they're with or a separation of some sort i don't feel like they are really happy with this person whoever that they're with and the person that they're with is sensing it for sure they're sensing that something's coming to an end or they're sensing that the person they're with is still either has feelings for you or is re, re getting regaining feelings for you again there's something going on there's a lot of fear insecurity playing out that they might come back to you or try to want to restart or rekindle this makes me feel like some kindling like for a fire you know that spark you know the kindling is there. Somebody has put the kindling in. It just needs that flame. And I feel like this person has not set that flame yet. But the kindling is there. And it's about it. Like any second. As soon as the spark hits it, I feel like it'll take off. So, yeah. This is interesting. The way this is playing out. The way, let me, tell me more about the person that they are with. Just a little bit more of the person that they are with okay two of pentacles in the reverse wow they're definitely struggling and they're struggling to commit to making some kind of decision i feel like the person that they're with is not happy but they're not willing to end it just yet and, and i feel like that's the same for like both of them they're they're definitely in this place of like not willing to end it right away but sitting with the fact that they're not happy with each other okay and 
the one who's interested in you, their reasoning is because they're looking at you and realizing that they could be happy with you, you know. Um, and of course, if they were happy with the person they were with, then whoever you were wouldn't matter, you know. So, there, but there's something about you. There's just something about you that is causing them to see you differently. <clears throat> they're seeing you through their emotional brain. They're not looking at the logic or anything practical. You know, yeah, they they see growth and change in you and stability and permanence, like a palm tree, like you are. You're just kind of going with the flow, swaying in the wind, but you're not to be knocked over. Like you kind of have that energy about you. You know, like a hurricane can't even knock you over. You'll just blow with it. <laughs> You know, like you have this undefeated kind of energy about you. But I feel like the person they're with is a, li is a bit unstable. They're struggling and a bit unstable. Um, I don't know if they're becoming unstable because of the situation. Or they've just grown to be that way. There could be some hormonal imbalance as well. Which, that doesn't mean it's a reason to break up with somebody. But I just feel like that could be playing out. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, the person they're with is super, super scattered. <clears throat> Nine of Wands. Very impulsive and chaotic, for sure. Okay. And I, I feel like it's because they know that their significant other is in love with you or it has feelings for you. They're aware of that and it's making them nuts. Because they can't do anything about it, they because they know they can't, they can't make their person love them more than you. I, I feel like you're. Let me see your person, a little bit more about this person. Okay, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. We've got the Hierophant, Taurus, and the Tower, of Scorpio. Oh my gosh, they've got three major arcana. I feel like this person wants to be, like long-term committed relationship with you like for sure you blow their mind <laughs> you blow in their mind in october definitely they feel like um with temperance that you two are meant for each other like like a divine timing thing you two coming together like the way you met like you were meant to be for each other yeah it's like they intuitively know it they may want to be in a committed or marriage with you. If they were the, in that with you before, they want that again. And they just want to like break down their whole world and rebuild. Start over with you. Okay, let me take a look at you. If you know who this person is. If Virgo knows who this person is. That you're giving the message about. What are Virgo's feelings towards this person? Two of Swords reversed. Undecided. Okay, that's fair. Why? Why is Virgo undecided? Or will be? Oh. Burden. Stress. A struggle. Too much of a burden? Don't want to be ghosted? Um, don't want to be with someone that's afraid they might be in, like, they're living in some kind of fantasy land? Uh, doesn't seem real? Uh, don't trust it? Yeah, look at this. Nine of Swords. These are not great cards for you, Virgo. But you know what? It doesn't... Like, I mean, come on. This is typical Virgo. Like, hold on a minute. I need, like, I, like Virgo being all pessimistic. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know if I can make this decision. Virgo's like, let me look at all the cons first. You know? <laughs> Gonna try and control my life. Hmm. That's an interesting thing that I just heard. Um, 
I don't know if I want to change my lifestyle. Very defensive energy towards this person. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's typical. I feel like if I could be asking you, like, what kind of rice you want for dinner, this would be the answer here. Oh, I don't know. It's too much trouble. Like, I don't know. What's it going to cost? I'm going to pay too much money, and then I'm going to have to, like, if I, if I want to get better rice, I'm going to have to go over to this store, like, F the whole thing. You know, uh, it's too expensive. I need to, but if I get cheaper rice, it's not going to be healthy. I'm stressing myself out. Forget it. I'll just have a salad. <laughs> Virgo, we're not listening to you tonight because Virgo just is going to pick it apart and go down the rabbit hole. Uh, yeah, that's what I feel like your energy is going to be. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, what's Virgo's advice? How about that? What's Virgo's advice with this situation? Ooh. That's the first court card. Looks like a King of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This might be the person that we're talking about. But as an energy, your advice is listen to your heart when he's calling for you. Listen. Quiet. Listen to your intuition. Don't pick it apart. What is your intuition? Your deepest... The King of Cups represents as an energy, very deep, intuitive, emotional, empathetic, empathy, deep empathy. No logic at all. I mean, let me take that back. The King of Cups does have logic, but they activate from the, from the heart first. Then the brain comes in and reasons things out. But they always come from the heart first. Emotional. Wow. Reciprocity. Sharing. <clears throat> I feel like your advice here is um, definitely to listen. Listen to your heart. And if it's, if it's that person, you know, who comes in this King of Cups energy, no matter what sign they are, um, listen to them. Hear what they have to say. Try to intuit what they're trying to tell you if they talk to you. Uh, listen with your heart. Um, be kind and generous with them. Um, that and and that's it. Nothing else. If you if you look caveat. If this is someone who is extremely hurtful to you, like calls you names, verbally mean things like that, um, and is hurtful to you, and you feel offended, then you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. I'm not telling you that you have to do anything. This is just the advice that's coming in. You take it if you want or don't. You don't have to. But if this is just any other kind of situation, this is what Spirit's telling you, this situation. Here you go, Pisces again, the hangman. So they're kind of saying, listen, listen to what this person is trying to offer. Listen to what they are trying to share with you and try to see from their perspective um, their emotions because I feel like they're going to share their feelings or their emotions try to see it from not your own eyes but from stepping in their shoes uh, I feel like they're going to try to talk to you and maybe share with you what's going on with them or what they're feeling hmm. yeah they're trapped they'll tell you they feel trapped they feel insecure they feel lost they feel um, they're struggling mentally I don't know if it's with whoever they're with. They might be in a relationship with someone who's very narcissistic or very manipulative as well. Um, wow. Another deep psychological reading. Okay. Let's try to move on from this a little bit. All right. Let's get some love messages here. What do... What does the romance angels have to share with Virgo? Okay. Wow, you're kidding. Give your relationship a chance. Work on the partnership. Wow, Virgo. I don't know what to say here. Oh my gosh, this situation involves marriage. Okay, so that's either you were married before or you guys are getting married again. Or maybe you're gonna like remarry each other. Okay, for some of you, 
another caveat, you might not know this person, you might not have had a relationship with them before, and this is just someone who's like falling head over heels for you. Okay, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Ooh, that might not be for all of you, okay? But sometimes expressing your love is just being kind and understanding, empathetic and, be, you know, just compassionate. Romance is different. That's up to you. Another message. Okay. Ooh, okay. For some of you, it is a past life relationship that you were in separation with. It's in the reverse. So, looks like no more. You're not going to be in separation any longer with your past your past person. Um, this could be someone, like I said, that you're in a past relationship with or someone that you meet where there's this like past life connection. You might have been together in another life. You're coming back together. You've known each other before. Either you really have in this in this life or you've meet this new person it's like oh my gosh and that's kind of what I was feeling like this person and you connect and it's like oh my gosh this is Virgo this is the one I'm supposed to be with you know that kind of energy and that's why I felt like that girl with the snake is kind of hovering and like she knows he or she knows that something else is going on here with who she's with and she's like whoa you know how people can pick that up they could pick up the energy. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else. I'm going to have to cut this a little short tonight so I can get this out to you on time because I was pretty busy today. Okay, you've got long distance, foreign themes, and distance. So some of you might, this might be a long distance relationship. Or you connect with this person long distance. Um, there's, you could be in a long distance open relationship. And you might be deciding to end that because it's long distance and it's open and it's not going anywhere. Um, some of you have a fair male or female who will be significant in this month, lighter than darker, hair, skin, nails, or eyes. Did I say nails? I always say nails. Because my, my nail color is always changing. <laughs> so maybe they have like nail colors, long nails like mine. We do different colors. Spiritual growth, learning, expanding the soul. So Virgo, you have had some spiritual growth and change. And it is very recognizable. People are seeing it. Especially past people that you're reconnecting with. They can tell that you've changed. The, the way you speak, who you are, the things you've gone through. They're wondering how you got through these things. Like you handle things differently now. Yep, the obstacles, the blocks, the delays. You've had so much spiritual growth that you've just pretty much incinerated. You've pulverized these obstacles that have been in your way in the past. You're, you're dealing with them, just, you're just blowing right through them. I feel like... Um, You've had so much growth and change that you're almost unrecognizable that you almost look like a brand new person, especially to, to someone in particular here who it's like meeting someone new for the very first time. So that's kind of how I feel like they're looking at you. Like they're not even sure. They're actually saying to themselves, maybe I didn't really even know Virgo. But that's not really the case. The case is just that Virgo really didn't know Virgo. And Virgo went on the path of self-discovery to find out who Virgo is. Even if that just meant spending time on their own to get to know themselves and like and learn to love themselves better and explore who they are and, and be their best self. Um, I feel like not only just this person, but other people are like wow they're questioning if they even knew you but it's actually just the brand new you it's just the you who's been polished and the you the real you who's been coming out here to play and i love it i think it's really great i feel like you you're really just kind of wowing some people <laughs> i really feel that all right let's get some scrabble numbers scrabble letters okay
some signs. Okay, we have Aries, Gemini, Libra, and Cancer. Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, and Libra. Okay, so we've got age 55. Someone was born in November. We have 33. We have 65. We have 83. We have 67 and 48. And we have 51. Okay. We also have 68. Okay. So we've got the initial. All right, we have B as in boy, letter E. You have S as in Sam, V as in Victor, W and Y, okay? Um, I'm hearing the name Sue or Susan. Someone likes to sew, I just heard, or someone is sewing. Let's get some September, August birthdays. Okay. September 21st. September 7th. September 2nd. We have 1979 here. Someone is 42. August 27th. Okay. Someone is born in October. And August 24th. Again, August 24th. Okay, we have the letter H, letter A, letter M, letter O. Okay. Sam, S A M, Samantha, Sammy, Reggie, or Regina. Okay. Rex. We have Ray, Raymond, Ray, okay, uh, Deirdre, Vera, uh, Graham, Lily, Marjorie or Margaret, I look like an L. Ralph. <clears throat> Regal or Re Regis. Dolly. Someone likes reggae. Okay. Irma. These are interesting names showing up here. Carrie, Rainy, okay, all right, craziness happening here, crazy, all right, let's get a charm, oh, we also have the letter K, you just gave me a K, oh, you know what, you guys, I'm sorry, I forgot your, um, I guess my brain doesn't want to work today. Is that all right? My brain just takes a day off from the readings. Just one day. Before we do charms, I want to get your Chinese signs. You and this person, or just you, or just them, or neither of you. If it's neither of you, it doesn't mean it's not your message. Same with the letters and the numbers and the names. Okay. So, year of the ox, year of the rabbit, year of the horse, horse again, year of the snake, there's the snake, year of the dragon, year of the tiger, year of the monkey, and we have the ox again, two more, year of the goat, and year of the pig, okay? So just take that, if it resonates, and for your charms, Okay, so the first thing you have is a unicorn. So someone looks at you like you're a unicorn. Like, I'm not kidding. 
like you are so unique and very special I mean I just feel like someone's like completely enamored with you this person is they just see you as something very nothing they've ever I don't know something so different about you maybe you weren't a unicorn before maybe you were just like a little pony but they like I don't I just feel like this person is looking at you like there's something so different about you <clears throat> Okay, that is the cutest thing. And I have never seen this before, but I just have to show you. <clears throat> this is like a teddy bear holding a flower. So I don't know, like, is that like one of those gummy bears? <clears throat> Somebody likes gummy bears or gummies? I don't know, eats gummies. I love gummy bears. I could eat like, I could eat like a hundred gummy bears at one time. That's a feat. But yeah, something about little teddy bears or teddy bear with a flower or gummy bears. Somebody likes gummy bears. I just keep getting that. I don't know what the flower's about. Now maybe somebody brings someone like a little bear, um, a get well bear. If someone's in the hospital or is sick, uh, someone receives it or brings it for someone. A little bear with a flower receives this as a little gift too, just for any occasion. Just a little cute, cute little bear. <laughs> little gummy bears all right you guys so i'm gonna leave this message i'll leave that message there i hope you enjoyed that and <clears throat> don't forget you can go over to my other channels i am uploading videos over there every day for the collective they are love readings moon pie tarot the link is in the description box it's on my channel um i think everyone's posting it in the chat as well i'll try to put it in stream labs as well if it's not already there um i might have forgotten i'm not sure but um yeah so you can go over there and you know give it a like and a thumbs up subscribe so then you get bonus readings so they go they'll go up an hour before this one starts so yeah you'll get two readings just remember it's collective so it's for everybody a little extra bonus all right you guys so i will see you all back here tomorrow Bye.